Welcome to a quick guide on how to install BTA 36.2, the mod pack for Battletech. You'll need a couple of things before you begin. You'll need a stable internet connection. You'll obviously need Battletech installed. You'll need to have approximately 40 gigabytes of free space on the drive you're installing this to. And lastly, you'll need to have any VPNs disabled as they can cause some issues with the download. So to begin with, you'll need to navigate to the BTA 36.2 wiki. The URL can be found at the top of the page here. Once you're there, click the installation guide link on the left. At the top of the page, click the link to download the installer. Click save file and OK. To speed things up, I've already done that. Uh, just a reminder that the full instructions can be read here. Uh, we also have instructions for Linux and Mac, but I'm just going to be covering Windows. We also have a troubleshooting section for common issues. However, if you do need some support, you can always go to the BTA 3062 Discord and ask for support there. Okay, so once you've downloaded your launcher, you need to extract it from the zip file. And you need to extract it into a location that is not the user's directory or the Battletech game folder where you have it installed. What I tend to do is take my primary storage hard drive, create a new folder there. We'll call it BTA 3062. Place the launcher in there. And then you can run it. Windows Defender might give you an issue, just click run anyway. And now you've got the launcher going. So by, by default it should find the directories that you need to install this to. However, if they're not pointing at the Battletech installation area, so in my case it's in Steam, in Steam Apps folder, and the checkout workspace, which is where you have the launcher installed, you can tell it to go there by clicking the advanced mode button and then clicking the browse button associated and then just navigating to that point. However, the launcher should do that for you. So once you've got that all set up, you just have to click update and install. It'll give you a warning that there's no current cache. You just click OK. Now this is going to initialize the cache, which will take some minutes. Just as a reminder, you need to have your VPN off for this as it can cause issues. If you can't pull down the cache or the cab, which is another download that's going to be coming up, it'll give you an error message and you'll have to start all over again. It's just easier to disable it and not worry. Okay, I'm going to do a quick jump cut because this can take some time. And I'll see you on the other side. Welcome back. We've initialized the cache. Now we just need to go through a couple of installation configuration options and then we're on our way. So we just click through these two windows. And now we get to the options. A couple of things you need to pay attention to. Obviously don't select the DLC module installation if you don't own the DLC. Um, doing so can break your install if you install these without actually owning the DLC. The second thing you need to pay attention to is the BTA community content. This is optional content that has been paid for by contributors. It's not necessarily well balanced. It's more novel stuff that people thought was fun. You can find complete information on what community content involves on the page on the wiki. I'm not going to run through it right now, but you can have a look on your own. Essentially though, if you want the base BTA 3062 experience, don't select community content. The rest of the settings you don't really have to worry about. Make sure that the Corgi performance fix is selected and the fire option is updated BTA fire and then just hit OK. This will ask you if you want to wipe the mod install directory. You say yes. And now it'll start installing. I'm going to do another jump cut here because this can take a couple of minutes. But we'll come back when it's done. Okay, so it's all complete. The installation is successfully completed. Just a reminder that when updates are released for BDA 362, the launcher will alert you to that, that fact. All you have to do is press update. And it will go through the update process. One last thing before we take a look at the game itself. Just a reminder, there's a gather logs button here. If for any reason uh, you run into game breaking bugs or things going wrong, click the gather logs button. It'll ask you where to save them. By default, that's the launcher's install area. You just hit save. And chuck all your logs into this zip file. And then you can go onto the BTA 3062 Discord, go to the support section, open a ticket, chuck the logs in there with the description of the issue that you have, and somebody will be able to help you out. All right, so the last thing we'll do is jump into the game itself, and we'll just run a couple of last 
tasks that you have to do before you can start playing. Okay, so the last thing that will happen when you load up the game, you'll see the mod tech initialization window before you get to the splash screen. This is normal, it'll take a minute or two just while it loads in all the different mod files. The last thing that will happen once you jump in is it will preload certain assets so that you don't have to muck around. This will take a couple of seconds as well. And once you're in, the last thing, just for safety, you need to open Skirmish and then Mech Bay. This will load the last of the assets and then once you only have to do that once and then you're set. And then after that you should be good to play. Hope you enjoy.